Is that Chris? Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's Lucas J here, y'all. Back up with another video, man. And today, y'all, we got a crazy and wild video to talk about. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, once again, surprisingly, y'all, we got Chicago comedian Skinbone on the roster. And it seems like last night, Skinbone life flashed for his eyes. And it seems like he went viral after he threw a Halloween party in Chicago and 15 people were shot, man. And the story behind this is just crazy, bro. And we got to talk about it. Now, um, before we get into this video, because I want to make this video long at all, the first thing I'm going to ask y'all to do, man, is to hit that like button, bro. And smash that notification bell so that you know I can't keep y'all updated on this situation. And y'all can be notified anytime I drop a video in general, period. Now, I'm going to y'all time to hit that like button and smash that bell, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all got me? All right, bet. Now, basically, what we got going on, as I said, y'all, we got um Chicago comedian, Instagram comedian, whatever you want to call it, man, just overall uh, internet influencer, skin bone back on the roster. Now, it's crazy because he was just on the roster a couple days ago about the G Herbo situation, and now he back on the roster. And it seems like last night, man, it was a terrible party that he threw on Halloween um, in Chicago that accidentally, or unfortunately, excuse me, ended up getting 15 people shot. See, man, pretty much, um, they're saying that a guy is in custody right now, and they reported that a uh, shooting that happened at his Halloween party and 15 people were hurt, but nobody passed away. Thank God. Now, the crazy thing about this situation is that it's on video. Of course, it's on video. Y'all know today's generation, everybody got to record everything, and you can literally see people bleeding and blood all over the place. Now, of course, I didn't post that in here because, for one, that's too graphic for YouTube, and that's just something very traumatizing to watch. Now, um, this situation is crazy, man. Um... Pretty much, man, for what I'm hearing is that, you know, um, somebody got mad, it got ugly, and people lost their life. Now, um, Skinbone went on to Facebook Live. He put a little bit on YouTube. You can watch the rest on YouTube. He kind of explained what happened, and he responded to it, man. And this is what he had to say. Skinbone opens you know, up about the Halloween party, party shooting. Everybody had a Halloween party on Saturday. So what, what, what y'all need to understand is promoters start hating. So when we had our Halloween party planned for a whole nother location, other that club started calling about our place because we didn't want to throw our shit at they stuff. So they calling around, yeah, woo, woo, they having this party, go shut it down, you, woo, they shut it down. We dang, but we got, you know, we 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 are fan people. So if people bought these tickets to see us and come kick it with us, come rock out with us, we gonna figure something out. Now, that's the um. They get blocked right there. Uh, anyway, so they shut the party down um, because people was hating. Like, come on, it's skin ball. It's 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 low down. It's hang. Come on now, we 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 the one. We like the biggest in the city. When I when that went up and they seen all the people, oh yeah, we finna go to skin ball and party. They called. They shut it down. We at the next location, but I personally. Didn't pick this location. Like this was some last minute. You know, they found their location. We just, uh, we just, um, you know, sent everybody that way. It, it was decent. Like it was, you know, it's in the hood. Everybody, yeah. Why would you have a party over there? It wasn't the location that made the party bad. It was not the location. You can have a party. You can get shot in church. It don't matter if it's a goofy in, uh, if it's a goofy in the facility. It don't matter where you at. So I wish y'all stopped saying, like, oh, he was on 13th Pulaski. That's what you thought would have happened. Okay. Skinbone opens like, up oh, about the Halloween Pulaski. party what shooting PT, too. Okay. The party was good. We was in the party about 8 o'clock all the way to 1 in the morning. 1 in the morning came. Got mad. Security put the nigga out. Okay. He drunk. I don't like drunk people. I, I, don't, I do not like drunk people. I dislike drunk people with a passion. And this is why I don't come out. And on my last live, that's what I said. Y'all have to respect my prices because when I come out, this is the BS that happens. So if I'm telling you that I need this amount of money to come out, that's what I mean. I don't want to deal with this. It's too much. I hate dealing with stuff like this. I hate drunk people. The nigga, he starting fights. He arguing with a nigga over there. Security come. You got to go. 
any regular if I gotta go, I gotta leave. I'm finna go. I I did too much. It's time for me to go. Instead, this nigga wanna argue with the security guard. This nigga wanna fight the security guard. Security guard whoop his ass. Now you getting your ass whooped, you wanna feel some type of way. Go run to your car. And that whole situation right there was dumb to me because why would y'all let that go to his car, man? Why now as y'all seen, you know what I'm saying? Skin bone pretty much went on to Facebook Live and explain what happened. And more of the story, long story short, uh, pretty much what he said was is that, you know, it wasn't about where they was at because they did throw the party in the hood. But he said that um, pretty much a guy was drunk. He went to cutting up, he got kicked out of the party, came back, started soon. Now, we got three red flags and we're going to break it down. And this is just a recipe for disaster. For one, you threw a Halloween party. Y'all know, if y'all don't know, me personally, I don't agree and I don't celebrate Halloween no more. You know, I think the uh, Halloween is a demonic um is a demonic holiday not saying i'm perfect or not but just something that i feel like you know i can easily avoid you know what i'm saying uh if you look at just what they celebrate witches and it's so many things evidence in the bible that can pretty much um back up what i'm saying is think about what they celebrate uh darkness evil witches ghosts it's just it's pretty self-explanatory now two he had a party in Chicago. Y'all know how Chicago is, man. Y'all know Chicago get rough, man. They say the worst time to be out in Chicago is Halloween and the 4th of July. Then three, people were drunk, bro. You know, you drunk, you know how annoying people are. Have you ever been around some drunk people? You know how annoying drunk people can be. And sometimes they don't be 100% there because they're not sober. And a lot of them just make the situation worse. And four, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You had a party with a bunch of niggas. All right, I said it, bro. It's in the facility. Now, y'all know, I'm not saying black people. You know what I'm saying? Because we know we can have smart, educated black people that can control themselves and know how to act around certain people. But y'all know it's always that bad bunch. And that's in every race. But y'all know when it comes to black folks, certain this is always there just to F up the vibe. No matter what it is, they want to find any reason to go shoot something, find any reason to have an altercation. It's just something about it. I don't know. Now, thank God, like I said, you know, uh, nobody got hurt. But you got a whole bunch of niggas in one facility that's drinking on Halloween in here in Chicago. That's a recipe for disaster. Now, also, who was also shot, if y'all don't know, uh, if you watch Skin Bone videos, he got somebody that named Uncle Hank. I think that's his real uncle in real life, but he related to him. But he was shot also, and he responded, and he said he good, man. Everybody good. Everybody good, man. I appreciate everybody coming out. The guy who did this wasn't even from Chicago. So, um, he's authentic, man. 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 Hey, hey, how's it going? Now, um, he pretty much said the dude that did it wasn't even from Chicago. You feel what I'm saying? It just um too much alcohol, things went wrong, bro couldn't take getting thrown out the party, and then went left. Now, thank God nobody lost their life, man. That's very surprising. But I think looking forward, moving forward, a lot of people should stop celebrating Halloween. But you know. Who am I to say? Because you see churches still celebrate Halloween, so who am I to say? But I will say, you know, throwing parties in Chicago, just not smart. Then knowing how big you are, only going to get worse. And next time, y'all may not be so lucky. But uh, give me y'all thoughts and opinions about this in the comment section. And let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all feel like it's more to the story? Do y'all feel like it's skin bone? Fault? Because a lot of people blame the skin bone. Do y'all feel like it's the location? Or do y'all feel like simple, just always bad apples out of a bunch? Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy, look, it's Jay. Thank God for another day, man. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Christ loves y'all so much more, man. And yeah, bro.